Great help of Rob over here, that great guitar player. <laughs> Keith Emerson was a, you know, a keyboard player from the night. The Wisconsin Humane Society, which you all have, are supporting by attending today, is committed to providing protection and shelter and care for wild and homeless animals. Because of generous donors like you, they're able to rescue and rehabilitate and rehome thousands of animals each year. Their mission is to make a difference for animals and the people who love them. Keep for a cause, and all of you, we're proud to support the Humane Society tonight in playing the music of Keith Emerson. As you know, we have an array of Milwaukee rock keyboardists and musicians of all stripes jumping on board with this event, and uh, we're having a lot of fun and a lot of levity as well. But some of our participants are what I would call unsung heroes in the Milwaukee music scene, such as River West's own George Darrow. George joined me, <laughs> George joined me on percussion uh, for when we walked out here at the start of our evening, but he's known around town as a percussionist, but also a composer, a music instructor, a New Yorker, but don't let that stop you from liking him <laughs> anyway. He's a builder and a patriot, and it's good to have George on board. He will be performing she Belongs to Me, which was written by Bob Dylan, but recorded by the night. I didn't forget you. Not at all. <laughs> Twilight. What will I do with that? Hello, Mary Kay. So, um, Lee Jackson was the singer for the night, and he was also the bass player. And then they had a, uh, the drummer was uh, Brian Davidson. And they were just really the first power trio, you know, before Rush, before any of that. And they were just amazing. Anyway, they did this song at the Fillmore East in 1969. I think I was in the audience. That was pretty amazing. So I'm going to try that. It's, uh, it's an homage. I'm, I'm not a keyboard player. Neither is this a keyboard. <laughs> oh, yeah. She belongs to me.